So frost seeding legumes and spring cereals can work very well, according to University of Missouri agronomist Rob Myers. And as Rob tells us here in the Cover Crop Connection, if you want to wait a little bit longer and plant your covers in April, well, that's perfectly fine too. So frost seeding, uh, when the snow's on the ground or we've got some moisture, even if there is no snow, can be something to think about. The other option for spring seeding is I've had good success coming in with a grain drill as soon as the conditions allow. So where I'm at in Missouri, that's often the last week of March or first week of April. Um, of course, if you're farther south, you could be potentially going earlier in March. If you're further north, you might be a little more into April. But uh, I've had really good success with spring seeding of crimson clover, Austrian winter peas. Um, Harry Vetch can do okay with spring seeding. Again, oats. There's really a variety of things that can be spring seeded and still give us some benefits for both weed control, nitrogen fixation, and just providing some soil protection since spring is often our most erosive period in terms of soil erosion. Check out the latest episode of the Cover Crop Strategies podcast for more spring management tips from Rob Myers.